So, but this uh, eigen therapy was not only in form of eigen blood and eigen urine therapy and stem cell therapy. For me, also rife therapy, where you put in frequencies, where you put energy, where you put in tense or zapper, you put in uh, energy, is simply this doing the same thing. It's not killing bacteria, as they th say, and there's only specific frequencies that would do it because really the, the, the physical reality is that if you come with a very defined frequency in, uh, into the skin, even a few centimeters below the, the surface, it's already a whole spectrum. It's, it, it's, it's not like a laser that goes in with the one frequency and comes out on the other side with the same frequency. It's, it's, it's simply not the case. So, but I know, and we all know, it, it was helpful in many cases. Why? Because it stimulates the sense of uh, energetic eigen, the sense of this energetic self. So, um, this it's for me the same like a hot and cold shower on the, on the uh, energy of temperature level. So, we can use also energy in other ways. We can use sound, for example. Uh, the most simple way is, is music, the way of singing. Ma singing makes you more happy, not only more happy, makes yourself stronger, humming to yourself. Children do this all the time, and when you see um, most musicians look much younger, and because of what? Because the, it stimulates the sense of, of eigen. The same is for me done by uh, Rife therapy and all the ener energetic, uh, electric and magnetic um, forms of energy. It's, a, it's not killing something, it is stimulating the sense of self. <coughs> and then, of course, we have EEG and ECG, and also we have all this, as you see below, in our very complex uh, frequency module of the core system. But what EEG and ECG never understood was that it's not only a, a diagnostic method, but that you can also use and put back those frequencies into the body for, for therapeutic purposes. And this is really uh, the simple idea that's the basis of the biolaser. Laser stands for bioresonance, uh, life amplification by energy stimulated eigenresonance. So the energy stimulated eigenresonance is really the basis of all those uh, f successes of SEPA and RIFE, and in my view, but they were never so good as the biolaser we can see now already is. It's sub far surpassing all the results of uh, RIFE therapy because we are not using some <laughs> frequency that was good for somebody 20 years ago who had the same, who had the same, not only same uh, disease, he, he was given the same name of a disease. So that's what people use uh, from books, and that's for me allopathic energy therapy. It's not treating the person, but treating his the name of his disease. And uh, still we get <laughs> some good results, but it's, it's far inferior to what we get with the laser, because what do we do there? We take exactly the frequencies of the client, and that's what you see in the, the lower device, that's, that's the sensor, it takes the frequencies from the person's body, and then puts it back uh, to the client uh, this, uh, in an amplified form. So the top part is just the amplifier, and this is shown here, so we can take those uh, signal from the body in two places, usually the foot and the head, but we can take the two the two hands, for example, or only the two feet. So, but we need two, two places to take the frequencies because always a, a, a complete electrical circuit needs <laughs> two electrodes. So, when bioresonance until now told you, you just have to lie on a mat and we read your frequencies, that's of course n are not true because the, there is no s closed circuit and so this would not work. Uh, what those bioresonance until now was simply radionic devices that 
sometimes also had good results and again also for the same reason because it's an informational reaffirmation of the self so if we in re reinform the self either by uh, by nice talk to the person or the person talking to himself you can see this in people who are very very ill they talk a lot to themselves it's, it's a way of survival basically uh, to still keep the sense of self going by uh, talking to yourself uh, but this is what we do with the biolaser in an energetic form and this has amazing results and it is very very similar to <coughs> what uh, we do with eigenurine and eigenblood therapy or stem cell therapy on a uh, biochemical level but it goes much further the idea of eigen and the, the need for stimulation of the eigen is really the, as I said is the most fundamental idea of spiritual traditions and so you can see this um, in the Indian traditions when you have this song, strong sense of self like here the Shiva then you are not uh, going back and forth because there's uh, maybe some exciting entertainment on the right side <laughs> or some uh, wars on the left side or some snakes around your, your, your neck you are centered on your eigen, on yourself. So that's that's what this has to uh, or wants to uh, represent. And really, for making this possible, you need energy. And it's not like New Age, especially the secret tells you you just have to wish. No, it de needs information. It needs vision, mission, and energy together. And this will create reality and that's the oldest of all ideas if you just have a wish uh, it, it doesn't do anything if you don't work for it if you don't put energy into it and that's the same also for spiritual wishes uh, like the fakirs if they have a wish how to become they have to do hard work like here the fakir on his nail bed but we have this all the time uh, we this energy is being given to us in forms which we don't recognize as energy and this is the obstacles that we face in life uh, the pain and suffering that we have experience and once and that's the secret that's that's the secret that takes many lifetimes <laughs> and that you will not really value if you if you're not yet there uh, to to appreciate it pain and suffering is the food is the energy that is there to be transformed into uh, reality if you connect it with, with, pot with the potential with the vision with information so this together makes can make anything possible and we know this from our life but new age basically tries to avoid this this hard realization that it takes work it takes it takes action uh, to realize your vision and also it takes vision uh, without vision and without uh, s information uh, even most work uh, the most work you do will go nowhere so it's very simple and this is also why uh, most people don't understand th th the purpose of vision uh, mission missionaries like here Anjeta and Obrega who are my uh, my idols who brought uh, Christian ideas to Brazil who came here in a boat and uh, with, uh, without speaking the language and then spent 20 40 years here walking everything by foot starting founding Sao Paulo starting uh, Salvador and the other big cities in Brazil uh, it's not about uh, mission uh, being the missionary for the Indians turning them uh, them into Christians of course they also s mostly they misunderstood their own mission but they understood they wanted to serve they wanted to serve God and they wanted to serve the higher plan and whatever it would take and whatever it would cost they would go for it and that's why they got it and the Indians they don't even remember them today <laughs> we went to some reservation in the north where they where there all the missions of the Jesuits nobody even remembers 
Jesuits <laughs> and uh, so this all came to nowhere but this was never the purpose for missionaries even so they, they themselves didn't understand it the purpose was to give the possibility for putting in energy into something and what? into some higher purpose into the purpose of transformation into the transformation of uh, of this existence into another existence and this is now all coming together in, in the core and the core philosophy so so much for now <laughs>